And in business, Kenya's gross domestic product GDP is projected to decelerate substantially in 2020 due to the negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Economic growth projections remain highly uncertain and the outcome will hinge on how the pandemic plays out internationally and within Kenya, along with policy actions taken to mitigate the situation. I am now joined by the Head of Strategy and Innovation at the National Bank of Kenya, Dr. James Wanjagi. Good day, Dr. James. Uh, good day, Irene. Thank you for inviting me. Certainly. Now, how has the COVID-19 pandemic impacted on the Kenyan economy? Thank you, Irene. You know, as with the rest of the world, the impact of COVID-19 in Kenya has stretched beyond uh, the sphere of uh, healthcare. And obviously now we are looking at um, economic development issues and challenges that are seriously disrupting um, how we do business, how our economy is going to progress forward in 2020. And this is not just in Kenya, um, it's both globally and locally. Now, it's important to note that no one can actually put um, a definitive analysis and or predict an eventual outcome. Uh, but what we are seeing is a disruption of trade. We are seeing a disruption because there are no tourist arrivals. We are seeing uh, the reduced uh, investment flows. We are seeing restricted supply chain movement of goods. And these and many others will impact um, how our economy does in, 20, in, in 2020. You probably uh, are aware that the Central Bank of Kenya uh, pegged Kenya's GDP growth for 2020 at around 6.2%. But some of the projections are coming out um, will heavily impact us just because of the uh, COVID-19. So some of the uh, projections, for example, from World Bank, World Bank sees a sub-3 growth, so reduction to sub-3. McKinsey is predicting around 1.9. Our national treasury today came out with a projection of about 2.5% growth rate. And then um, IMF was predicting 1.1. So, um, we, 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 we see that there's going to be um, a, a reduction in terms of how our, our, our country is going to, uh, how the Kenya economy is going to grow. Now, what it doesn't policy... help that we have the locust invasion that's obviously impacting our agricultural output and doesn't help that we have seen a lot of excess flooding across uh, Kenya that's also stretching the government significantly. Now, what policy adjustments so, and what policy adjustments and strategies have been put in place to cushion the impact on citizens and businesses, particularly? So, the, the government has done a couple of things and uh, should continue doing uh, a, a number of things. So, for example, the expected um, VAT has been reduced from about fourteen percent from from sixteen percent to fourteen uh, percent. The pay as you earn has been reduced from about. 30% uh, to 25%. Corporate income tax has been reduced. Uh, but still, a lot more will need to be done by, by, the, uh, by, by, by the government. The stimulus package that they've talked about that includes some of these things will also need to clearly be uh, driven through things like debt relief from banks, uh, money transfer, fees being reduced, giving additional tax breaks to organizations and companies so they can increase their capacity uh, to produce import substitutes, but also increase their competitiveness. Uh, we've talked about increased VAT refunds, and this should be extended for three to four uh, months, for example. Um, consensual loans that should be given at low interest rates to facilitate business, and then also provide moratoriums on loans that are due. I expect to see a business stabilization fund that cushions the impact of, of coronavirus. You know that uh, Kenya's 80% uh, of Kenya's economy is driven by the informal sector. So some business stabilization fund that would help cushion that for both the SMEs and also for the informal sectors. And uh, keeping the reduction of, the, of that corporate tax a lot longer a lot longer, and then strengthening the supply chain now, so finally, that people can have access to imports. Dr. Services. James, sorry, because uh, of time, we'll have to, you know, take on this next question. What Post-COVID-19, what should we be focusing on from the government? What should we expect from the government? What should the government so basically be focusing on? Investment and physical uh, policies must be reviewed. 
so that they can then align to the new the, the new normal that we're going to see. As the government in June, our our 2020 budget uh, is going to be read. That budget would should see an increase in, in in spending on some of the recurrent expenditure in some of the things that will help drive the economy forward. So whether it's manufacturing, whether it's the healthcare industry, whether it's the development of um, of uh, crop development and research so that we can pull up and increase our agricultural sector and move our, 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 our country from purely agriculture to processing and to a semi-manufacturing state. Dr. James Wangaji of the National Bank of Kenya, thank you so much for joining us on the news. Thank you. Certainly.